Are you looking for the best shoes for paranal tendonitis? You are at the right place. You will know your paranal tendons are injured when you feel a sharp pain or a consistent ache on the outside of your foot. But don't worry, many people in America and elsewhere suffer from this condition, but it is heavily underdiagnosed. Today, we are going to review top 5 best shoes for paranal tendonitis. So let's get started. Starting at number 5, Slowman Women's Walking Shoe Sock Sneakers. Despite coming in at number 5 on our list of the best shoes for paranal tendonitis, this is one of the most highly reviewed shoes online today. For us, the superb comfort wins at a spot here. These are not running shoes, as you can no doubt tell from the thick platform. However, they are light in weight, and the elevation that they offer is especially for the three important parts, the heel, arch, and ball of foot. These shoes come with an air cushion. In addition to the air cushion, the outsole is made with rubber. The footbed is made of EVA foam, so you can expect it to be supportive. The perforation of the arch area enhances airflow and prevents excessive sweating. But these shoes are not waterproof. Thus, you should keep an eye on the weather when walking in them. They do an incredible job of supporting you and alleviating pain associated with paranal tendonitis. At number 4, Adidas Performance Men's Energy Boost 3M. Adidas is a well-known brand name for running and other shoes. It is also very popular in the sports. Their prowess can be seen in all of their sports shoes. In addition, they are not too expensive as you will see with the Men's Energy Boost 3M. Stitch shoes have seams that affect the way that the shoes bend with the feet. That is probably why Adidas left out seams with these running shoes. Instead, you get welded overlays, which make the shoes better looking. The style also enhances your stability when you are walking or running. The upper is also meshed and synthetic. Adidas says that the upper mesh material has a four-way stretch. Many shoe companies come up with different technologies for superior cushioning. Adidas calls their boost foam. They say that with every strike, this foam returns the energy to your feet, so you can spend a longer time on your feet. If you are on the heavy side of things, you know very well that most running shoes do not handle the pounding very well. However, the Energy Boost 3 are superb. People as heavy as 250 pounds wear these shoes, and they last a long time. In addition to the torsion system that returns the energy to the foot, the outsole is thick and it is made of rubber. At number 3, Mizuno Women's Wave Inspire 17 Running Shoe. The Mizuno Wave Inspire running shoes are made with a responsive and supportive energy foam that is exclusive to this brand name. It has a better springy response as compared to the more traditional EVA foam technologies. Like most other running shoes, the Wave Inspire is made with a rubber outsole. Combined with a euphoric midsole, you get all the support that your feet need especially if you will be spending a long time in the shoes. When you run, your feet are bound to generate a lot of heat to prevent excessive sweating. These running shoes come with a mesh stopper. All Mizuno running shoes come with removable insoles and so do these ones. Besides, these shoes have the regular shoelaces instead of bungee-style laces. Like all the running shoes that come with mesh and synthetic upper, they are not very protective of liquid spills. So, you have to be careful about wearing them in rainy weather. At number 2, New Balance Fresh Foam Xanthi 3 Running Shoe. Again, the superb cushioning of this pair of running shoes makes it a good choice for people with foot issues. In addition, it is perfect for running short and long distances. The upper of the New Balance Ant V3 is mesh. Now, this makes the shoe super breathable. The upper is made of 50% synthetic material and 50% mesh. This also contributes to the minimal weight of the shoes. Besides, it is designed with a technology that bounces the energy back to your steps so you feel more empowered to run longer and harder. In the interior, the shoes are nicely lined and the collar has a nice padding. The midsole is made of fresh foam, so it is firm and gentle on your feet at the same time. Many people complain that the shoe has a low drop profile, but this too has its benefits. For instance, it helps to maintain balance and stability as well as great foot engagement. Once you get used to such running shoes, you will never want to try others. Our last product is a 6 Men's GT1009 running shoes. 
The main selling point of this shoe is the incredible cushioning, which is just the thing that you need when you have pain in the peroneal tendons. You should note though that despite their thick soles, these are neutral pronation shoes. Also, these shoes are designed with the unique A6 technology called IGS Impact Guidance System. It is designed to improve your natural gait from the toes to the heels. The upper of the A6 Men's GT1000 running shoes is made with synthetic mesh material. It dries faster and it is super breathable. Also referred to as AR, the outsole is super supportive and it gives incredible traction on different surfaces. These shoes are also great for people with flat feet. The only downside is that these shoes are not waterproof. They are breathable, so they will keep your feet dry and comfortable. Just don't go wading into a puddle. So, what do you think about this video? If you think this video is really helpful to take your decision easier, kindly subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to notify our upcoming video. Thank you for watching this video.